Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Crocheting with NG Hard 25 on e-learning options. I'm your host NG Hard 25. So today I'm going to show you how to obtain this. This is normally for you when you wear your trainers and you don't want to wear a long boot. So it's a round fit warmer. It fits just around your leg like that. This is for the bigger size. I will show you where your long boots you wear that and your leg fits and feels very warm. Basically, when your work is finished, this is how it's going to look like on the legs. As I said, they're called leg warmers. You can wear this with your trainers, you can wear them with anything else. But as I said, I did a very short one. The person didn't want a long one. You can do it long up to the point of your nails, like knee length there. But we've just done this one like halfway in between your knee length and your leg length. So you can wear them in trainers, you can wear them in your boots if you want to. But this one is just for someone that has like a big leg. Someone just wants to wear them for your trainers and wear the leggings in or wear something short above it to keep your legs warm. <laughs> As always, we need a 5mm hook because we're doing something big. We will need needles. I will need the measuring tape because it depends on the length. As I'm doing for someone bigger, I'm doing a bigger length. I need wool, as always. It depends on the colors you want to use, but I'm using black, grey, and slightly white and black as well. So, first things first. So, yeah, at this point, we are going to measure... From this length to this length of the work for the bigger feet. So from this length to this length of the work it is 14 and I'm going to start with the grey yarn. I'm doing the base that's the foundation of the work. That's how I do chain stitches and half double crochets. So I put the work aside and I'll show you how it's been closed. So since I'm starting with grey, it's this one. And the very first stitch of every work, of every work you're doing with wool is always a chain stitch. Unless you're knitting with two needles, then you will have to use a different method. So I wrap my yarn around my hand, put a slip knot as always, that's a circle. Put my yarn through and I will chain. I make single chains to a measure and it gives me 14. The single chain it comes out like this. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to chain any number, but I'm going to chain up to about 50. And I'll use my tape to measure. And if it gives me 14, then I'll start the, the, form, the bottom bit of the work, which is here. All this one. So I will join you back when I've reached the normal length of the work. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on e-learning obsess. Now I'm back with the foundation chain I've done and I've measured this 14. I will show you how to do the first stage of this work, which is double crochets all around. To do double crochet, I will do an extra one chain. I will yarn over, skip the first one, put in the second one to do double crochets. Pull through two, pull through one. One more time, yarn over. Put into the hole, pull through two, pull through one. One more time. So I'm going I'll do yarn over, pull through, I'll have three, two, one. As you can see, this is how it's going to carry on for the second stage of the work. I'm going to carry on doing this to the very end of this foundation chain so like this i'll carry on doing this to the very end of the foundation chain and i will get back to you thanks for watching don't forget to press the subscribe button on the learning offices for more videos on how to do other items now as you can see i finished the double crochets on the second line which by it corresponds on this part of the work this very stage we're going to come and do this highlight of the black later. So we're going to do one front pose, one back pose of the work all the way through. So when I say by back pose and front pose, I will yarn over, turn my work, do 
two chains yarn over this one is the first one you do a single crochet and you pick up the next yarn you do a front post so this is what i mean by front post and i yarn over i do a back post back post you send the needle backward pull the yarn two three so this side looks like i'll do one more time front post and back post like that so you carry on doing this to the end of the work and i will join you there as you can see i've obtained the front post and back post double crochet and this corresponds to this first part of the work that's there front post and back post double crochet and what i'm trying to do is obtain the same identical type of feet or leg warmer without the uh, whole shoe after this front post and back post to the length i'm doing to the very end of this one i'm going to show you how to obtain the puff stitches that looks like this they're very thick very warm in each square when you stretch you see they'll be holy but they make you breathe they're breathable and are very warm for this weather because this is winter so i will join you back then thanks for watching don't forget to press the subscribe button at the bo bottom thank you hello welcome to part uh, i think it should be part two or part three of the work and i'm yours ngr25 i was showing you how to obtain this leg warmer on the previous video the first two steps so we have done the chain the foundation chain and then we've done double crochets we've done front and back post this is how they look like front and back post of the work which is this place of the work now we'll be obtaining the puff stitch which is the next stitch puff stitch is the main body of the work for the whole socks to this layer so what we do at this end of your work when you reach here is to chain two turn over because i'm doing with the love i yarn over i'm going to be skipping this first post and putting the first puff stitch there Reason being, if you do it on the very close on the first post, you make your work not even on the edges, as you can see with this one, you'll be very puffy out. So we have to do that to have an even edge on each side. So our yarn over, you need to make it loose when you're doing the puff stitch. One, yarn over, two, like that. And yarn over. I'm going to do this for four times. You can do it as many times as you want or how thick you want it. This is three. Yarn over. This is four. Like that. And one more time. This is five. At this point, we yarn over, pull through all the work and pull through one to secure the puff stitch. This is how it looks like. I will show you one more time how to do it because this is what we're going to repeat on the whole work. We are going to skip one more into the next one. Yarn over, pull through, two, leave two out. Yarn over, pull through, have two. Yarn over, same place, pull through, we're having three, yarn over, pull through, we we'll have four, and one more time, yarn over, pull through, five. With the puff stitches or the stitch that I'm doing, you can do four, five, six if you want to. But I'm doing five because it's for the feet and it will keep the feet warm. So this is what I've just obtained, this part here. We call them puff stitch but i'm sure it has other names people call it different things and you can see i've been skipping in between so it has a bit of space in between and this is the second one i will do one more time yarn over skip one go to the next one one yarn over two like that yarn over three like that yarn over four 
like that and the last one yarn over five like that so for you to obtain this stitch properly that's how you need to do it so i'm going to repeat all of this on this work to this very end of it so basically this is what i'm doing this stitch repeating all of this to the end and this is basically the pattern so you're going to carry on this for the second step and i'm going to show you the next step this one how to obtain this one so you shouldn't get confused but you're going to repeat this for the length that you want of this leg of the socks you can do it up to 10 but i'm just doing nine layers thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe on e-learning and your ng25 come to the third round and maybe the final stage on how to show you how to do this fit or leg woman i have done the first stage that was the foundation chain done the front post and back post double crochets and i've done the puff stitch which i was explaining to you they look puffy and i'll show you how to do it right now i'm going to show you how i'm changing a color people change colors differently they attach it and walk into the work but i always do a slip circle like this and i will fit it at the end of this work here and i'm going to chain one i always have all this ends out and i tuck it in with the needle for me it's preferable and i'm sure it's worth fastening than having to walk it in but if you can walk the yarn inside that's fine by me as you can see i've done this i will turn my work over and i will carry on doing the puff stitch in this page of the puff stitch you will see that it doesn't have this chains at the bottom like this one so what we are going to do in this first space instead of doing a one puff stitch we are just going to do one double crochet so your work is even because if you do a puff stitch here it's going to not make it go straight at the end it's going to make you wavy so i've done the first single crochet our next puff stitch should be in between the space so you're going to yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through four yarn over pull through all of it and yarn over pull through to secure your puff stitch to come out nicely so right now i'm going to repeat this for another nine more stitches like that i'm going to repeat for another nine more stages this is exactly what you see here as well like this when i repeat it to nine more stages i will show you how to close it like this with the front and back post and we will attach the black which is a double single crochets at the end and finally we will show you how to log in in all these yarns at the end to form our beautiful leg warmer which is going to come out looking like this thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to see the final stitch of this work. Thank you. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to the final part of crochet in the leg warmer. As I initially showed you. As you can see, I am halfway through the work already. So you can see right here. We have left only with the last stitch. Which is going to be looking like this one. This final place. And this is the identical fit of the other side. Which I have not sewn it in yet. When I do that, I'm going to show you how it looks like. The same thing with this one. So right now we are trying to create this sole part here. Where we do single crochets, double crochets, front and back posts. So what I mean by that is this. At this point, we have done all the puff stitches up to the 9 length. We are going to attach in. Also so nine length sorry i'm always fiddling with the needle i will turn the work over and i'm going to do single crochets on the stop it so i'll chain one we yarn over pick a yarn for the first post here one half double crochet so all this line is to do half double crochets even on the top of the puff stitch so we'll come later on to do front post and back post using that. So this is what I'm going to do all the way through. If you can see me, I'm walking in between 
and on top of the work like this in between and on top of the work like this so you yarn over put the needle yarn over pull through yarn over put the needle I can see I'm moving and creating space to be worked. So this is what I'm doing. This part represents this place. Right here. Directly on top of the puff stitches. So we'll do that to the very end. Then do front post and back post of the work. I'll get back to you on that. Thank you. So yeah, now after I've done the first stitch of half double crochets like this, I'm going to chain two. Because we'll start working the front post. And the back post so when i'm in front post and back post is like this we'll do one double crochet forward one double crochet backward it comes out on both sides one double crochet forward one double crochet backward and this is how it's going to look like the first one will be a first single crochet like that one front post one back post so i'm doing two identical pair of leg warmers my front post and back post back post front post as you can see it's making the front post and back post which have double crochets so I'm going to do this to the very end and I will join you at that to show you how to do these black lines before we stitch it in. So right now you can see we have a thin half double crochets front and back post work on both sides of the work. Now the beautiful part of it is attaching the black, this black that you see right here onto the work. These are just single chain, single chains or single crochets. So here I am going to bring my black like that. That's why it's tied with a slip knot. And I'm going to put it in there. With this length, we've well, done a short one because the person that wants it does not want it extremely long. But you can do it long or short depending on how you feel. So I've done that chain one and I'll do my first single crochet which is right here so single crochets is basically just putting a yarn and pulling through you're just putting a yarn and pulling through in there in between the top bit of the work like that we are going to be doing this all the way to the end of this work and on both ends of the work so basically like this on this end and i'll do it as well on this end thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe on e-learning obsess and this is how it's going to look like on the legs as i said they're called leg warmers you can wear this with your trainers you can wear them with anything else but as i said i did a very short one the person didn't want a long one you can do it long up to the point of your nails like knee length there but we've just done this one like halfway in between your knee length and your leg length so you can wear them in trainers you can wear them in your boots if you want to but this one is just for someone that has like a big leg someone just wants to wear them for your trainers and wear the leggings in or wear something short above it to keep your legs warm thanks for watching I was your host Angie Hat25 and don't forget to subscribe on e-learning for more video. Thank you.